Thanks for joining me today, guys. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe to this channel if you enjoy this content. And when you subscribe, leave a comment below. Tell me you subscribe and let me know where you're from. First things first, my camera broke today. I have no footage on any of the melting I did today. All I have is what you see right now. I made two things today. I made the shell out of copper using my Castmaster GG3000 electric furnace. Made it, made it out of copper. The pumpkin jack-o'-lantern I made out of aluminum using my propane melting furnace. So now you're going to see what they look like. Let's get right to it. It's all cleaned up guys. Check it out. The shell. This thing looks fantastic. The only thing is it's got that little hole. Who cares? This thing looks amazing. Look at this. Solid copper. Solid aluminum jack-o'-lantern. Look at this. I had to do some some trimming on this. I had a lot of slag stuck to it, but I think it turned out pretty good. Look at that. So the thing with this is, this is the 3D print. So you can see it's red. Well, I had to fill in all the print lines. And what did I use? This is what I used. Bondo glazing and spot putty. This is what you need to use. So the problem was the mouth and the eyes. There's no way that I could push the sand and pull this out without the sand coming with it. So in order to have the sand stay in the mold, I had to put some sort of draft angle on the eyes and the mouth. So when I pull out, it's a V shape. It comes out easily. The, another problem was all these ridges. I had to fill in this one and this one because it was a two-part mold. So when I took this half off, this would grab the sand. And then same with this side, that would grab the sand pulling it that direction. So I had to fill that in. I still had a little bit of a hard time, but I did manage to get it out. And that's why you probably saw a little bit of the slag that was stuck to it that I had to grind away but I think it came out awesome. I really do. Same with this. So guys, I am sorry that I didn't have any metal melting, um, metal melting videos for you today, but I think this, this is good enough for you.